Finally, let's introduce the Moivre's theorem. So, the Moivre's theorem comes directly from what we were doing in the last video. If we've got a complex number, and we want to raise it to a power n, Well, raising to a power is repeated multiplication. So how this is going to work, the R is going to be repeatedly multiplied. And it's going to turn into r to the nth power. Then we'll have the cosine of n theta plus i times the sine of n theta. So taking powers when you have um, complex numbers written in kind of the standard form, A plus BI, that's an enormous hassle to do. Taking powers when we have complex numbers written in this polar form, not an enormous hassle to do. Actually, relatively straightforward. So, let's say we have two plus three i, and we want to raise this to the seventh power. And we want to raise it to the seventh power without undergoing the immense tedium, which would be this product. No? Torturously doing that multiplication by hand just sounds like the absolute worst. Fortunately, it is completely unnecessary. Instead, here's two plus three i. obviously not to scale, but we'll find R we'll find theta Then this power is the radius raised to the seventh times the cosine of seven times 
0.983 plus i times the sine of seven times 0.983. Plugging this into my calculator, we've got the square root of 13 raised to the seventh times the cosine of seven times 0 0.983. Six thousand five hundred forty seven point five six eight plus, and now we've got point thirteen to the seven. Sorry, let me try that again. We've got the square root of thirteen raised to the seventh, and we've got the sine of seven times 0 0.983, 4,458.459, the imaginary unit. Much quicker and much nicer than this stuff, which I correctly scribbled out up there.